All right, this is Jacob Breedlove with my Redneck Picks. This is going to cover Strike Force, but first I wanted to do a little predictions for these little Jap man called Sengoku. Third, was it 11th? I think it's Sengoku 11th. I, I got a look. World Victory Road Sengoku 11th Battle. Let me just say before I preface this. You know, it's not like Ma, it's not like Uff, it's not like Whack, it, it's not even like Strike Force. And what it is, is this little man, this little Jap man, they get off of work, like you and me, they take off their buttoned up white shirts, take out their pocket protectors, and go out in the alley and fight. Now, I, I give it all the credit in the world. They're not as big as you and me, they're not as entertaining as the white man and the black man. But they go out there and they hang it all out and I applaud. That's just amazing. So I'm going to pick these fights real fast. Let me look here. Brawny Mayan versus Shingeki Oswa. I mean, when you have a person that's not Asian going up against a Asian man, it, it's a handicap. So I'm going to go with Brawny Mayan because he looks kind of... Mexican, I, I, I don't know. Uh, Akirio Gano versus Yung Young Snakey the Camp. I don't care who you are, but you don't want your name in anything to be Snake Eater. That's just nasty. So I'm gonna go Gano here. Uh, George Santiago versus Maimed Cow Dove. Uh, Maimed Cow Dove is, I believe, Russian. And uh, George Santiago, I remember him. He got beat by that red-headed latchkey kid, Lieben. Uh, but he's done a lot of things since then. So uh, I think he can do some things here and beat the Russian. Uh, go go ahead, do your thing, Santiago. Next, uh, Satoru Katakio versus George Gamesbread. Gamebread. Mastivial. I'm going to go Gamebread on this one. Uh, just because, again, he's white. He's not Asian. Marlon Sandro versus Yuji Hoshino. I'm going to go with a Sandro. He's, again, less Asian than Mr. Hoshino. Then we got Dave Pee Wee Herman versus Jim Big York. I'm going to go with uh, Pee Wee here. You never bet against a man named Pee Wee. If you're named Pee Wee, You've gotten a lot of fights in your life, and you probably know how to fight. I'm just going to go out and win on that one. Edge Misokia versus Kaznori Yokota. This is, uh, again, this th this is just two Asians fighting. Like I said, off of work, uh, they're tired of, you know, calculating numbers. They want to go in there. They want to knock each other out. I, I'm I'm just gonna go with Yokoto because it, it's a it's a dominant name. Uh, Stainslav Nedkov versus Kevin the Monster Randleman. Now this one is pretty easy. You have a big black man versus a kind of hipped man, a hipped Russian man. He has kind of these man hips. Uh, yeah, I'm going with the monster here. He's a big black man. Again. Hatsu Hayoki versus Machirio Omagawa. Alright, this one's going to be pretty easy because the picture I'm looking at, Omagawa is still wearing his, uh, his work outfit while Hayoki is already in his karate outfit. So, I mean, I think he's going to be trying to get out of that suit jacket and the guy in the karate outfit is just going to nail him. Just nail him. Alright, now that we're done with that, thank God. I'm going to move on to the main card of CBS Bounce for Strike Force. This is Rogers versus Fedor. Fedor Amalanko. Uh, first we got Fabreo Wordom. We're not dumb, buddy. Versus Antonio... Silva. I, I'm going to take Silva here because he's a big black man. 
I think. I'm not positive. He could be a mix of some things, but I'm going to say the big black man comes out in him. Gegard Masalsi versus Rami Yu Theory Soka Chow. Um, again, this is a big black man, and I'm going to go with the big black man. Alright, Jake Shields versus Jason Mayhem Miller. I'm going to go with the guy that has shields in his name because shields is a type of defense against an attack. If you have a shield, you can thwart your opponent's attack and then come back with an attack of your own. And then we have, like I said, Fedor and Milanko versus Brett Rogers. Now, Brett Rogers, again, is a giant black man. And I have a teaching aid here to help you understand how this fight's going to go. This is a, a Mario doll, and this is going to represent Amalanco, and this is a dinosaur, and this is going to represent Brett Rogers, and it's going to be a little like this. Now Mario is screaming in pain, and your winner is Brett Rogers by domination. It's just, it's just, it's already been told. It's a tale as old as time. Yeah, but those are my picks. That's what's going to happen. Thank you for watching.